We also have on the show a multi-talented actor. She starred in massive hits like Luther, His Dark Materials and The Affair, of course. It's Ruth Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> I did what everyone did, wild garlic. I don't think anyone else is doing <laughs> that, Ruth. <laughs> Let's get my first guest out. It's Ruth Wilson and Greg Davis. <laughs> Great to have you here. Thank you for coming in. Hey, now, that was a lovely reaction from the audience, wasn't that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you always get that kind of reaction? Because you've played a, a lot of characters who I think people are a little bit wary of. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, a few. What kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of reaction do you get? Um, generally quite nice. Although, yeah, Alice Morgan, I got a few... Uh, people tend to be quite scared of me, um, which isn't a bad thing. So Alice was in Luther, of course. And she Alice... was... Was she actually a psychopath? Yes, yes. <laughs> Full-blown psychopath. Um, and I would walk down the street. It was one day I was walking down the street with a friend of mine and someone screamed at me. Well, not at me, actually. Screamed at my friend. What are you doing with her? Like, she's a psycho. Get away. <laughs> she's dangerous. Leave her alone. OK. <laughs> Ruth, let me talk to you, because Ruth is about to do what sounds like an amazing project, OK? And I've <laughs> never heard of anything quite like this before. It's called The Second Woman. Yes. OK? Maybe I should get you to describe it, because yeah. I, I'm not sure I necessarily would do it justice. This is at the... It's going to be the, the Young Vic... Yeah. ..for one night, one day and night, on the 19th and 20th of May. Yes, yeah, so it's a 24-hour performance piece. It's one scene that's been inspired by a John Cassavetes film called Opening Night. And I do that same scene with a hundred different men, um, none of which I've met before, and most of them are non-actors. And it's a hundred men over the course of 24 hours. So one... So if we go and see it... Yes. The people who go and see it, they would see... If they stayed the full... They could stay the full 24 hours? They could, yeah. They could go out for toilet breaks and come back. But, yeah, they could stay for 24 hours. And they'd see 100 men performing this scene with me. So, what's the... the I can see the challenge for you, but it's going to... That must be an experience unlike any other. I know you haven't done it yet, but that will be very, very different to anything you've done before. Yeah. No, it's mad. It's mad. I, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of madness. I don't quite know why I'm doing it. But I, I was offered this, like, three years ago, before COVID, and I've had three years to change my mind, and I haven't, so... I'm doing it. I'm still so, doing it. But you said you don't really know where you're doing it, but there must be... What, what is well, it, it about it? it scares me. It's really scary. I don't know if I'm going to survive. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I mean, it's... I don't know if I'll... I'll, be, I'll, I'll stay awake, but I don't know if I'll be very professional well, the, <laughs> after three hours of doing the same thing. The, words, the words in the scene will start to mean nothing after Absolutely a while. Absolutely nothing. And I'll, it will feel like a mad sort of Groundhog Day nightmare. <laughs> Yeah. And I, I, am I right in thinking backstage you asked Greg if he would do it with you? I did, yeah. Ruth said, would you like to be in my project? And I got incredibly excited. And now <laughs> I hear there's a hundred non-actors. <laughs> <laughs> I see where I fit in all of a sudden. Does, does the scene start with a gigantic mute man walking yes. out? Yes. He can do that. Rock? How about you do that? Oh, come, come on. on. Can yeah. I dress as an alien? You can. Yeah? You can do You're whatever watching, you like. Ridley. Ridley. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do want to make light of what seems like a very genuinely fascinating project, Ruth. No, you can't make I'm, light of it. Personally, I'm sick of playing tall characters, so I'm going to strap my shoes onto my knees. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the same height if you put your shoes on your knees. Do you think? Maybe. OK, come on, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> but you underestimated yourself. <laughs> Maybe all my height well, in this <laughs> part of my... <laughs> In the audition, the uh, director was there and he told me, quite rudely, I think, that I was overacting. <laughs> he said, you need to reel this in if you're going to stand a chance. Calm down and give us a more measured performance. Yeah? Now, the punchline is, what the show was, it was the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I want to know what your performance was but, like. But, Ruth, what about you? What about early? What were your earliest jobs? I guess, because you, you were kind of, like, pretty successful pretty straight away in your career, weren't you? Um, yeah, I did a... I just worked in a little cafe, I did things like that, and I did a, a little bit of modelling, which I think is what you're referring to. Yes. And, um... It didn't last very long. It was, like, a short-lived experience. And so why? You just didn't... You didn't enjoy modelling? 
I kind of thought it was, I had in my head, you know, black and white shots, kind of artistic. Fashion, arty. Fashion, arty, you know, cool, sexy. My experience was not really that. So, okay, shall um... we show them what? I think this <laughs> is on. the oh, John Kilmer. Go on, you had to. Oh, good. Yeah, you've yeah. got it. It's, right. it's, it's, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as Henry VIII. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, this is Ruth, uh, one of her very, I think it might be your first, but one of your very first modelling jobs. Look at this, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's cute, isn't it? Ms. Magazine. Yeah. The was, spooky issue. The spooky issue. Spooky edition. Yeah, I was 16. That came out, I was just about, I was just starting college. A new college. And I'd done this over the summer. And I was, they had me in bunches, smiling like for hours. Hours and hours. <laughs> such a painful face. I hated it. I hated it. I wanted to look moody and... <laughs> Sexy, and instead I look like that. Anyway, I think you can still see the serial killer in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the eyebrows. The eyebrows. So, Ruth, when you when you finished uh, Luther, for example, did you have yeah. a, do you have a similar sort of party, a similar farewell to everyone? Yeah, we always have a rap party at the end, and it's yeah. always quite lively. I mean, that was ongoing that show, so it never yeah. sort of had an end. So, did you hang out with Idris quite a lot when you were making? In the first season, there was a lot of hanging out. There was a lot of partying in the first season. Yeah. We used to sort of go out in Islington and sort of do pub crawls along <laughs> the upper street. I can imagine Idris causes a bit of a stir when he walks into a bar. Yeah, he's pretty tall. He's like you. He's like your height and, um, you know, everyone notices him. You know they call him the White Idris. <laughs> <laughs> At my behest. <laughs> yeah. Greg, I bet you wear speedos. Oh, I've, I've got some speedos and let me tell you, it is uniquely revolting. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to wear speedos? Are they not quite comfortable? Speedos? No. Oh. Okay. No. Good answer. The last that gets you in here. <laughs> it does. Sorry. You should go up a size. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're doing the same as me. I'm still buying a 34 inch waist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of falling. Okay. Ruth, what did you do during lockdown? Did I do that garlic nettle? What was it? Pesto. You made a garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I did what everyone did. Wild garlic. Pesto. I don't think anyone else is doing <laughs> that, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> and getting fanny gallops. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ruth. Good luck with the show. I can't wait to see you on stage. And Greg Davis, ladies and gentlemen, let's say thank you to all my guests. Tonight. Thanks to all my guests tonight. <laughs>